Okay, let's work on the ground. Starting in the turtle position. And this technique here is very simple and works really well because most times here, when we are training no gi, the person on the bottom is expecting some sort of choke or that you will try techniques that you control the back. And I like very much to go here to flip him when I have an opportunity and work the submissions from side mount instead of attacking the back. That works very well. You have the option here. You can either start attacking the back and now when he's concerned about your attacks against his back, you can switch for this technique if you like, okay? It's not the idea to go against his neck, but to go against that forearm that he's using as a post. And then you hold, you can go underneath and hold on top of your hand. Okay, from here, he's already on a tough spot. Then what I like to do is to get the side mount to be able to attack right here. And that opens other possibilities when he tries to protect his arm. There are other submission that, submissions that you can go to. That one is simple and very effective. So when you're here, you need to connect with the, the person on the bottom. Otherwise, he can make a sudden move and, and pull you to the guard. For instance, if he's loose here, pro professor simply sits back. It's too late now. I like to put a lot of weight at one side of his hip. And then I like to control either here inside the leg or right here below his foot. It's my way to stay connected and delay his moves. And then I watch. If I see that I have an opportunity to go the further arm, see I'm heavy here. When I go underneath hand to hand, it's even hard to, to practice without throwing too much weight on him. Super uncomfortable. If it's on training, you can get him really tired. Sometimes, when he feels the discomfort, he just wants to pull guard, but at this point it doesn't work anymore because of my arm, and he will end up at the same spot. <clears throat> Remember to connect, to stay heavy, find the way you like to distribute the weight and connect. After that, the idea is to block his arm, put a lot of weight on him, and if he stays here, you start reaching and circling in a way that your hip will push his hip away. Really hard for him to maintain balance, then you go right here behind the shoulder. The armbar here is super simple. All you need to do is to trap the wrist, control the elbow joint, and one less adjustment. See, if you are not super flexible, that may happen. So you need to move back and step. See here, most of the submission is happening with my elbow moving backwards and my back arching a little bit. Okay? Remember to hold your foot. You may try to push your leg, stay heavy, and then apply the submission. Okay? Let's go and let's alternate back and forth. Thank you, Professor. Same partners. Let's go, guys. Five minutes. Ready? Go. 